dear students uh, today on your demand as many of you have requested me to uh, make a video lecture on uh, loading schemes and uh, uh, such as uh, this uh, dynamic loading dynamic linking etc so i thought i would cover some other topics as well in this brief lecture so let me start uh, what exactly is a loader a uh, loader is a system software and uh, whenever we say loader it means uh, loading and linking both are performed by the same software system software so uh, basically there are four functions of a loader what are those four functions <coughs> uh, memory allocation then relocation of the program into memory then uh, linking of subroutine and other modules with the main program that is called linking and then uh, finally loading the program into memory the loader has basically four functions allocation of memory means loader has to occupy some space and that it will reserve for the program to be loaded program has not yet been loaded second is uh, relocation a, pro a, a program if needs to be relocated to some other part of memory at the load time then it is called relocation so all addresses gets changed third is linking of uh, other modules with the program so if a program is relocated then uh, all other modules are also uh, to be i mean changed i mean their address will change so linking would be required again and finally program would be uh, loaded into the designated place and uh, which will be ready for run these are the four function now there are various loading schemes such as uh, compile and go loader a very simple and basic scheme compile and go loader so what is this scheme and in this scheme uh, compiler or the assembler itself behaves as a loader and uh, whenever a program is compiled it is immediately uh, loaded uh, by the compiler itself or the assembler itself uh, to the memory at the same time it is compiled there is no uh, time gap between this so <coughs> the uh, issue here is the the assembler itself remains into memory so that memory cannot be used by an object program so this is an issue with the compiler and go loader and this is not an, a very basic or elementary loading scheme uh, where as wherein the compiler itself or assembler itself behaves as a loader so it's very very old scheme it was very old scheme uh, which was uh, earlier used in i mean 60s 70s and uh, these loaders are also called assemble and go loader compile and go loader as assemble and go loader load and go scheme is also the same like this so simple advantage is they are sim simple to implement and there is no additional routine is required but the disadvantage is uh, a, a memory is wasted in assemble and go loader and there is no uh, production of object file the source code uh, uh, is directly converted into executable file of a form hence uh, even though there is uh, no modifications in the source program it need to be assembled again and again means every time the program is modified it need to be assembled because assembler itself lies in the memory now uh, there is another scheme called absolute loader what are absolute loader this is i mean just a next step of compile and go loader it's a complete simple but complete loading scheme but the thing is that it can load a program only to a very a specified place into memory and that is specified place is uh, is uh, the place or the address given by the assembler or usually it is called that the programmer supplies that so every time compile and go loader has to be loaded into memory uh, or compile and go loader has to load a program into memory the programmer has to remember the addresses so that that is very difficult where the pro where a particular program has been loaded the program has uh, programmer has to remember all those addresses and uh, and uh, though it's a simple scheme uh, complete loading scheme but uh, there are another disadvantage of this scheme that 
uh, it doesn't support much uh, the the uh, routines sub routines and if um, the main program grows expands then uh, uh, there is no way that uh, you can uh, uh, i mean manage uh, the other sub routine it can overlap other programs so when it overlaps other programs so all 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 executions are get getting lost so this is the big uh, another big disadvantage of compile and go loader oh, sorry absolute loader and uh, then there are the loading schemes called relocating loader relocating loaders are are uh, just the next step of os absolute loader as i told you in absolute loaders uh, I mean expansion is not supported if a program or the subroutine is expanded it can overlap or or relocation of ad that means relocation of address is not supported by absolute loader the same is support supported by a relocating loader so a program when once it is placed into memory can can easily be relocated later on depending upon the requirements of uh, other programs and uh, memory status because you know the operating system uh, has to manage the entire memory in the best possible way so it needs relocating of various programs at different times so this is possible only when there is a relocating loader and there is another modification to this scheme is called uh, linking loader or the popularly known as uh, direct linking loader so direct linking loader or dll is a, is a scheme which is a linking loader but it also involves uh, subroutines so subroutines means uh, the the programs attached with the uh, main program so a program can be loaded into memory at any place relocation is possible then linking of this program with other programs or or the program it calls is also possible so it's advanced scheme direct linking loader then uh, there are some other schemes important loading scheme which uh, is popularly known as overlays or uh, dynamic loading dynamic linking i will tell you in very brief and very clearly what exactly is this overlay is basically a tree like structure uh, where in the um, uh, where in uh, from the root of the tree uh, the starting instructions or the um, program is placed and all those modules with the main program calls are uh, Uh, the leaf nodes from left or right of the tree, and uh, likewise the tree structure is made. So, as you know, on, at at one time only one part of a program is called. If a program has separate modules or or within a program, you 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 may have if then else type of structure. So if if part executes, else will never execute. That's clear. So so. Uh, in the overlay structure only one part of the tree is loaded into memory, and this is basically a dynamic loading scheme. so what exactly is dynamic loading scheme if if you want to give example overlays are the best example which is tree like structure of the entire program and its modules the hierarchy is maintained which module calls which one accordingly a tree is maintained so uh, the dynamic loading scheme which is an overlay overlay is the best example of dynamic loading scheme is like a loading a program into memory uh but not the entire program i mean the complete program or all modules are not loaded simultaneously into memory because you know only one part of a program is uh, required to be executed so only that part is loaded at particular time and other parts are not loaded so as and when they are required they are loaded so this simply saves the memory and this is called dynamic loading and what exactly dynamic linking so it is one step ahead of dynamic loading dynamic loading in dynamic loading you load you load a few modules which you which you think or which you expect based on the overlay structure and all those other uh, assisting uh, data structures so which you think that uh, these are the uh, programs or their modules which would be required right now so you load those modules but you do not link these modules you link the, these modules only when they are actually called by the main program or the subsequent subsequent program so you you are uh, what are you getting from this you are by not linking the uh, programs uh, or the sub sub routines to the main programs or other modules you are simply saving some time if you are lo uh, using dynamic loading and linking all loaded modules at the same time it is again quite possible that some of the linked modules are never executed because you know again 
if then else type of structures are there any conditional statements are there so if condition gets fail some part will never execute but you have already linked those that module so you have wasted time in linking for uh, to a module into memory which has never executed so just wait for some time whenever there is actual requirement of that particular module you link it i mean the loader links it so if by doing so this is a since this is an extension of dynamic loading so by doing so you are saving some more time because if you link in advance in anticipation that all modules will be required and if some module is not required you have simply wasted your time in linking so this is dynamic linking basically i hope uh, this will uh, solve your confusions of uh, all loading schemes and uh, uh, related topics and if you have any more confusion you may just write to me i will make videos and share it to you thank you